Unfortunately, though, drinking episodes like this are becoming more common. Research shows that 1,700 college students die each year from some sort of alcohol-related incident. Now, Penn State University has made alcohol awareness a top priority, but as our Jamie Carrot discovered, the time and money being poured into prevention is failing. I think we're 48th in the, uh, the APA's best colleges to go to, but we're two and three if you're trying to party. Each year, several publications rank the top party schools in the nation, and Penn State is no stranger to the list. According to the Princeton Review, PSU ranked third in 2008 behind the universities of Mississippi and Florida. This community has decided to put 100 alcohol businesses in the middle of a population that most most people are underage. Bill Mann is vice president of university relations at Penn State. He has been keeping track of alcohol statistics for years. It's frustrating to uh, put this amount of effort and time and resources in trying to keep people safe. Uh, but it's also frustrating to see adults who are, in some cases, active parts of the problem. Mann says the low cost of alcohol on this side of College Avenue is contributing to a problem he and many others are trying to solve. Michael Desmond is a partner with one of the largest hospitality companies in State College Borough. He admits low drink prices may be an attraction, but he says his establishments serve a variety of ages, not just the college-age crowd. He has, however, noticed the younger drinking crowd has moved from beer to hard liquor over the last decade. It's more easy for them to conceal hard alcohol. It takes less volume, uh, more alcohol content as compared to beer. And that higher alcohol content is evident at Mount Nittany Medical Center. During a ride-along on St. Patrick's Day with Center Lifelink, there were eight alcohol overdoses and we witnessed three transports to the emergency room. He's awake but not alert at all right now. In 2008, 558 Penn State students went to Mount Nittany Medical Center for alcohol-related problems and while that number has increased from years past, so too has the average blood alcohol content for students treated. It was more than three times the legal limit last year. Sometimes the, the level, the BAC levels that we see are, are such that people cannot, do not know what's around them and cannot react. And it's, it's, a, it's a recipe for disaster. In August of 1999, a Penn State student consumed 21 alcoholic drinks in a two-hour period during her 21st birthday. Her BAC was .682, nearly seven times the legal limit for 1999. While she survived, there have been other Penn State students who have not. Captain Dana Leonard says the university and the borough are fortunate there aren't more serious consequences to the many excessive weekends. And despite the possibility of death, some students maintain it's a rite of passage. It's something you're never going to be able to detach from college. It's just it's something that will always be ingrained in society. But for borough police, council, and university officials, the hope is for responsible drinking to become the norm. I would hope that we would get to the point where uh, it, it's not viewed to be socially normal to go off to college or go off to the military or when you first leave home uh, to engage in this, this rite of passage that adversely affects too many young people. It has to start from within, within each person and uh, learning how to be respectful of yourself and of your community. Penn State has tried everything from partnerships with the community and urging faculty to incorporate information on alcohol risks into their courses to establishing a substance-free residence hall and implementing a parent notification policy. Yet the numbers of alcohol overdoses continue to rise. The borough is even looking into legislation for a poured drink alcohol tax. I would like to see businesses stop promoting cheap alcohol so much. I don't know if that will have an impact, but it's something we haven't tried yet. I think we're all searching for some very, very difficult answers.